Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Jerika Duncan. And I'm Lana Zak. Here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. Israeli troops gather at the border, gearing up for a possible ground invasion as rockets strike in Israel and Gaza. Israeli and American families remain desperate for word on loved ones still missing or believed to have been taken hostage in the first hours of the war. And Secretary of State Antony Blinken heads to Israel one day after President Biden pledges unwavering support. Later this hour, House Republicans could vote as early as today on who they want to see as the next speaker. The latest on the behind-the-scenes wrangling and negotiations. And the ex-girlfriend of FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried is back on the stand as the government makes its case. A look at what she's already told the jury and how the defense is trying to poke holes in her testimony. The war between Israel and Hamas is now in its fifth day, with the death toll continuing to rise on both sides of the Gaza border. Several rockets penetrated the Iron Dome and hit towns in southern Israel. The IDF concentrated its offensive on targets within Gaza, leveling several neighborhoods in Gaza City. There are also new reports of rockets being launched in the north out of Syria and Lebanon. In a sign that a ground offensive could begin soon, Israeli forces are gathering on the Gaza border. Within Gaza, the area's sole power plant ended operations after running out of fuel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and opposition leader Benny Gantz have agreed to form an emergency unity government and war cabinet. So far, more than 2,100 people have been killed on both sides of the violence. 14 Americans are confirmed dead and at least 20 remain missing. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is now heading to Israel as the U.S. ramps up operations to get any American hostages out of Gaza. CBS News senior foreign correspondent Holly Williams joins us now. Holly, you've been so busy and have done some incredible reporting these last few days. Uh, if you could just give us a sense of the reporting you have from Kibbutz in Israel and what you've been told about the horrible tragedies that happened there. Yeah, look, uh, some of the kibbutzim 